Hello guys, in this tutorial we will tell you how to download the JSON file. Go to Google Play Console and log into your account. If you don't have an account, then create one. Once you're logged in, you'll be redirected to your Play Console dashboard. Now locate the Setup section in the side menu and then click on API Access. On the API Access page, you will see the linked Google Cloud Projects, OAuth, Clients and Service Accounts section. Now click on create a new service account under the service account section and you will see a pop-up for creating a new service account. Here you can check the instructions to create your service account. Click on Google Cloud Platform and you will be redirected to the service account section on the Google Cloud page. Now go to the navigation menu, locate API and services and click on library. You will be redirected to the API library page. Search for Google Play Android Developer API or scroll down and under the mobile category, click on View All. Next, select the Google Play Android Developer API option and enable this API to manage the apps on Google Play Store. You can check all the details of the Google Play Android Developer API on the Overview page. On the Service Accounts page, click on Create Service Account. Now provide the required information, including the service account name, service account ID, and service account description. Once done, click on the Create button to create your service account. The second step is granting service account access to the project, which is optional. Select row from the dropdown to allow access to the resources in your project. Let's select the row of owner for now. If you want, you can add conditions or add another row. Once done, click on Continue. Now moving to the next step which is granting users access to the service account. This step is optional but if you want to grant users the permissions to deploy jobs and VMs or grant permission to administer this service account, you need to add the service account users and admins role respectively. Once you have provided the required details, click done. Here you will see your created, your created service account details. Next click on the three dot icon here and then select Manage Keys from the Options. Once done, you'll be redirected to the Keys section. Now click on Add Keys and then select Create New Key. A dialog box will open for selecting the key type. Ensure to set the key type JSON and then click Create. Once done, your service account JSON key file will be created and downloaded to your computer. Make sure to keep the key secure and close the dialog box. Here you will see your added key. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.